All right, so if you were wondering about the hex inverter uh, mystery and what it was for and why it wasn't connected, to, why the input wasn't you know steadily connected to power, uh, this is the circuit from Make Electronics. It's a uh, keypad lock. I'm going to be a little unsteady here for a second and just show the whole thing so you get a big overview. There we go. All right, so I've got a 12-button keypad wired in here, and I put it all at one end with jumpers so that I could experiment with changing the codes and stuff whenever I wanted to. Um, <clears throat> basically, the way it works, you have a three-digit combination. You have, um, at the top here, the ICs that you're looking at. Uh, the first one, uh, starting at the left, is an AND gate. Uh, the second one is an inverter. The third one's a 555 timer. Um, there's no power running to any of these ICs until you hold down the star key on the pad. So, and there's a power LED. Well, there wasn't a diode um, where you see there's a little diode up here beside the LED now. If you look beside the blinking LED, there's a little diode. Um, there was no diode there, and what ends up happening with these ICs, um, especially or maybe only with, as far as I know, the, uh, the AND gate and the inverter, if you have inputs going to these, which I have inputs for the three digits that are in the combination and a common line coming from all the digits that, uh, that aren't involved, right? If any of those go high and the VCC is floating on the other side of these chips, the VCC will totally pass out the voltage that's coming in as high. And in this case, I've got a 5 volt rel uh, regulator, so almost exactly 5 volts just goes flying out the other side of the ICs, and it would make this top light blink whenever you pressed a button, which didn't hurt the functioning of it, but it was just kind of lame. And so now you see I'm tapping keys, and we don't get anything happening there. Uh, the pound key is the reset key for the circuit, and it has a red LED to show that the system is locked. The star key is power, so you have to hold down the star key while you put in the combination. And in this case, it's 9.35. And then you see the little light there comes on to show that you unlocked it. So 9.35, there you go, and unlocked. One more time. Yep. So that works, that works just fine. Um, and that's how it goes. Uh, you can also type in, like if you put in, put in a wrong digit, it'll cancel everything out. So like just going through it, like if I hit 96053, it's not going to unlock it. It's got to be 935 in that order with no mistakes in between to get the unlock. Anyway, pretty simple little circuit. Uh, kind of fun to build. Definitely uh, walks you through how to correctly wire and use a logic 